feels nice. It's actually not cold at all today. I think it's like 73, 75, something like that. The sun feels good. We are going to go see Kingsman, the third one. I don't know what it's called. I just know it's the new Kingsman movie. I've been wanting to see it, so we're finally going to see it in the theater. About ready to take off, like 10 minutes. But yeah, good morning guys. See you at the movie theater. We're here, we're here. Going to Harkins this time, not AMC. Harkins. already did a little bit but the Kingsman I don't remember what it was called it was it the Kingsman what was the like the Kingsman that's it it's that's all it was called it's usually the Kings the Kingsman like M-A-N but this one was the Kingsman M-E-N and it was a prequel which I didn't realize that but a prequel yeah if you watch the other one, I mean, if you watch the third one, I'm assuming you watch the other ones. The My favorite scene in the first one was the church scene. My favorite scene in the second one, I think this is the second one, was when, and this is going to be a spoiler, so I'm sorry if you haven't seen it. When all their head, well, maybe, when their heads started exploding and it was like colorful, that was the second one, right? No, that's the first one. That was the first one still? So? I think. The second one, they go to this, like, weird island place, and Channing Tatum's in it and stuff. I don't know if I've seen the second one. I don't know. Anyways. I don't know. I guess that's a route. I don't remember if we saw it together or not, but I remember seeing it in the theater. Anyways. Well, if you saw it in the theater, and it was out while we were dating, then... No, we probably saw it together. We probably saw it together. But anyways, the third one. Uh, it was good. I didn't know what to expect going into this movie, just because I, I really didn't know what to expect, because none of the original people were in this one, I don't believe, were, right? No, it was way before. This took place in, like, 1918, when World War One took place. Okay, yeah, so no, so, Did like, when it took place? um, yeah, well, well, the beginning of it, or, wait, I can't say that that's a spoiler. Okay, never mind. Um... Yeah, it was way before, way before. So yeah, so I, that's why I didn't know what to expect because I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not. It was ended up being better than what I thought. They had some really good fight scenes. Um, they in this movie, in my opinion, they didn't have like that one scene that like you remembered the movie by, like that really good scene. I like the bad guy's lair was on like this cliff i don't know like a plateau but i don't know what you would call it yeah it was a really <laughs> high cliff and it had on all sides all sides you had to take a lift to get up to it yeah and there was goats it was and... yeah it had goats it was inaccessible other than a lift i loved i loved i love that idea of just like it was cool it had goats so it's kind of like self-sustaining other than catching water i guess if it rained yeah. You could catch water, but I liked his lair. It was really cool, and it was just like in this, this barn, <laughs> which I don't know. I thought it was super cool. Um, the music in this one wasn't like as prominent as the other one. Yeah, they didn't, like, really, they didn't really play. The, the score was a no score, much. no like popular songs or anything because of when it took place. They didn't really incorporate no, something like that. They did. But before we forget, in case we do, um, there is like a little snippet, like 10 seconds after the previews start, or the credits start running, which is totally worth, like you have to watch that. It is worth it. Yeah. Um, But I don't have much to say about the movie. Like... I thought it was pretty good. They incorporate. I mean, the story's made up, but they did incorporate like a lot of 
real history with the movie. Yeah, it was history based, loosely historically mm. accurate. Yeah. Not completely. It was like <laughs> loosely. Yeah, it was like the history with World War One and the countries that were involved in it and why it started. Yeah, with they the, incorporated yeah. the Kingsmen and made them affiliated with it. They took like the historical figures kind of accurately and then wove in, yeah, the Kingsmen characters and kind of had them yeah. be the reason for certain things in, in the and past. And I knew that a lot of the stuff in the movie actually happened because my dad was off to the side saying, yeah. oh, that because... actually happened. And then he would like go on a little spiel about it. Yeah. Um, but I mainly saw the movie because I wanted to see that Rasputin character. Which, he was cool. He was a really cool character. Which I kind of... Alright, we had to cut that because yeah. there was a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, he... For me, that's why I saw the movie. And that made, like, the whole movie. And then YouTube released this, uh, like, maybe a minute and a half clip of just him from the movie and then there's this song called Rasputin from the 70s that they were playing in the background it was really cool how they did that so it got you excited about his character he, 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 and his like, character was really cool yeah yeah, really yeah he definitely like I didn't know he was into the movie was he really like gay or was he straight or did they add that in because the people writing the movie decided to do that I don't know. I, I don't know. I was wondering that myself, and I was going to actually research it and see. But I know, like, with the other stuff, with the healing stuff, and, like, the spiritual, and him dancing like that, I know that was real. Because, um, yeah, I, there was a lot of stuff about, like, his character was super cool. There was one part specifically that we can't talk about that I was not expecting at all. And when it happened, like, everybody was like, oh, like, you even vocally said, oh, my God. <laughs> Like, I yeah, but, but it was yeah, yeah, it was good. The story was really good. Yeah, that made me excited for the movie was his character, and then the, actually the war scene was pretty good. The war scene was really cool. That was really yeah, with that what's was his really name's well son. Done, actually, it actually reminded me of that movie. It did it remind me of that too. a little bit. Yeah, I was like, damn, this is actually pretty good. And the thing at the end did. Um, I mean, I, I don't think this is a spoiler. They set it up for a sequel, and, like, the thing at the end made me, like, super excited to watch the next one. Yeah, they did set it up, but I don't know if they're going to make another one. Yeah, we'll see. But, yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's it. We're just going to say goodnight now, because I've been forgetting to say goodnight, and if we say it now, then I don't have to forget later. So, goodnight. And... Again, by the time you watch this, I don't think that movie's going to be in the theater. So watch it on Hulu or Netflix or wherever it goes to, because it'll go to something. Yeah, and if you like history, you'll really like the movie. Yeah. But yeah, okay. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and good night. Mm. The camera has been zoomed in this whole time. Are you has me? it? Like, how close is it? <laughs> God, are you kidding me? Is it, how close is it? Oh, God. Are you, no. You're not answering me, so I'm going to say that. It's pretty, pretty it's freaking close. Pretty close. Let me see. I already zoomed it back. Here, I'll show you where it was. Like this? Um, it was a little closer. Damn! <laughs>